In this video, I'm going to show you how I built this awesome combination wood burning pizza oven and slow smoke cooker. Whether you got a hankering for a delicious pie or some slow smoke ribbage, we got you covered on this project. I plan on this project taking more than a weekend to build. So, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about what got me started on this project. Uh, it's not like I'm a huge pizza freak or anything. Uh, I am in the construction business and I had done a, a big project. We had bought a house and added a second story to it. So uh, it was for a long time just kind of sick of doing anything, any kind of big projects like that. So about 2008, I got kind of an itch to, to do something, something big around the house. So I had been watching this program called Jamie Oliver's uh, at Jamie Oliver at home. He's a British British chef. Jamie Oliver is, and if you haven't seen that show, it's pretty good. And uh, the guy was the guy's got an incredible pizza oven in his backyard, and, and just rocks that thing with all kinds of stuff. Not just pizza, he cooks all kinds of stuff in it. So that's kind of where I got the original idea. And um, you know, at the same time, I also like barbecue and and wanted to have a slow pit. Uh, slow smoker, uh, offset smoker, pit smoker, and really didn't have the the uh, energy to do both, and didn't have the space in my yard to do both. So I decided to see if there was a way I could combine both of them. So here's how I kind of put it all together. One place I found on the web that was a great resource for all things wood oven related was fornobravo.com. These guys sell everything from prefabricated ovens. They've got specialty materials and tools for building and operating your oven and they even sell ingredients for uh, good pizza so the area of the Forno Bravo website that I found the most valuable though was the forum section in the forums you're gonna find a bunch of people including me who are sharing uh, wood oven information uh, they've got in their entire projects from start to finish um, here you're gonna find a lot of wood oven stuff uh, more than you can handle they've got design ideas pictures, they've got construction techniques, they've got what worked for them, what uh, didn't work for them, the horror stories, and and uh, they even got uh, recipes on the forum, so it's a great uh, resource. Let me talk a little about a few concepts about wood-fired cooking. Everyone's familiar with grilling, which is uh, basically just direct cooking over an open heat source. And a wood oven is different in that it transfers the bulk of the heat from the flame into the walls and the roof and the floor of the oven. And the wood oven has been around for thousands of years. Uh, the oven may or may not be insulated to conserve the heat from the fire. Here's how it comes together. First you have a structural concrete base or hearth. As you can see there's a depression under the oven uh, for the insulation where I used a perlite uh, cement insulation which I'll discuss in detail later. Then there's the floor where I used fire brick. Then here's the inner dome, which is also fire brick. The flue is located at the mouth of the oven. If you think this is a little counterintuitive, I agree. But if, but if you think about it, in terms of trying to retain heat, you don't want all the heat going straight up the center of the dome and out the chimney. The oven will draw fresh air in through the mouth of the oven, radiate the fire's heat throughout the whole oven, exhaust out the flue in the front of the oven. The inner dome is then insulated. Then you can build the outer dome. You can build that out of brick or, you know, really pretty much anything you want at this point. When you cook in it, the fire is started in the middle of the chamber and the oven is brought up to temperature. As you can see from this graphic, what I was talking about early, earlier with the fire efficiently spreading its heat all through the oven with the front mounted flue location. When it gets hot enough, around 900 degrees, you push the fire back towards the rear of the oven, sweep the ash back towards the fire, and the pizza cook cooks directly on the brick oven floor. Now, as you can see from my finished oven and from Jamie Oliver's oven, it appears to have a center mount chimney and flue. This is only aesthetic, though. Both ovens exhaust to the bottom of the flue at the front of the oven, and the flue is routed to a center stack chimney. Most ovens don't make this transition, and the chimney goes straight up from the mouth of the oven. I just didn't like the look of that, but if you don't mind it, running the chimney straight up is certainly easier and easier and more efficient. Now a slow smoke barbecue pit cooks in a completely different manner. 
low heat and smoke are essential to good barbecue. This is normally achieved with an offset firebox. The fire is built to the side and the smoke from the fire enters the cooking chamber, goes across the flue or across the food and out the flue. These pits really don't require any insulation because the cooking temperature is much lower, you know, around 225 to 275 degrees, but the pit does become kind of a heat sink that stabilizes the heat during cooking. So my solution was to add an offset firebox that would exhaust through the oven and out the oven flue. The oven space acts as the cooking chamber, but my only challenge was to get the smoke from the firebox into the oven. So let me show you my design and ultimate solution. Um, I used a program called SketchUp, which is free to download. It was owned by Google. It's owned by another company now, but uh, it's a very easy to learn 3D drawing software. Here's a fly around video I did using SketchUp. I decided to go with an igloo design for my oven, but you can build the outer part of the oven pretty much any design you like. Here's a section shot of how I got the smoke from the firebox into the oven. The oven is supported structurally with an 8 inch reinforced concrete masonry units. Each 16 uh, inch long block has two voids or cells. The wall is reinforced by filling every other cell with reinforcing steel and concrete. This leaves a void running the full height of the wall that can carry smoke into the oven. I made this brick inside the oven removable so whenever I wanted to smoke something, I'd just slide it out and then whenever I wanted to use the upper oven, I'd just slip it back in place.